In my days as NLC president, I do not know how many times OBJ went to buy rice to share. Oshomole speaks. Senator Adams Oshomole, representing a Don North Senator District, has commented on the current government approach to elevating citizens suffering under President Bola Turumbu. Speaking in an interview on Arise Television, the Money Show program, he pointed out that the government has allocated 570 billion naira and distributed trucks of rice to state government as quick win palliatives. These measures, he said, are intended to provide immediate relief to the population. Oshomole contrasted his approach with his experience during his tenure as the president of the Nigeria Labour Congress, NOC, under former President Olusegun Obasanjo. He noted that Obasanjo never distributed rice or similar relief to the people during his time. He emphasized that while the current government is taking steps to address immediate needs, substantial and long-term change requires time and cannot be achieved overnight. He also clarified that during his time as NOC president, his protests were not aimed at toppling the government, but were focused on addressing specific policy issues. Oshomala said, and I quote, If the president acknowledged that there is hunger, who are you not to deny it? So that is not the issue. And that is not the main reason behind this protest. And why do you think that President Turnbull resorted to giving the state government 570 billion naira for quick win palliative? In my days as NLC president, I didn't know how many times Obasanjo went to buy rice to distribute to Nigerians. He would rather say, go and farm, which is the legitimate thing to do. Oh... You get some people with a reason left, 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 left. And I don't blame these people. They don't hold. Most especially when you see person with a very, very... When, when the people will say, you know, in brain, don't they very, very lazy? Yeah. You were active when you were... Uh -huh, and then all of a sudden, you understand, you understand. Because I don't understand how you will compare OBJ's time to Tinamu's time. Do you know what and what and what OBJ did? Do you know OBJ employed capable hands? He did not employ these brothers, which is why a lot of them do not like him. Just like Jonathan came in and he did not employ his brother. He did not do, he was doing for another people in a bid to win them over. But OBJ, when he came in, he did not employ his brothers. He employed people who were capable. He went for the best. And he knew he didn't need to do all this. The government does not need to give us food. We're not beggars. Like how many? You put a derrick of rice in a bag or maybe you put a derrick of rice or at most two and you go to share and you come outside to sell us your sharing rice. You're wasting our money. Why don't you, you know, we live in a time where a lot of people are willing to learn how to, you know, make money, not even how to, you know, collect we are in a period of time where a lot of people, more people are gradually embracing the technology. More people are phone users. Why don't you, you know, partner with a lot of these, you know, tech kind of skills, you know, online skills, digital skills online. Partner with them. Let them reach people. You start from people, maybe in the university, you bring it in. Maybe you start, yes. If you start doing it and you don't, this is not just teaching them the skills, they teach them how to do it, they teach them how to monetize it, they teach them how to teach it. Let them come out as people who are now fishers of this money and not people waiting for handouts. Tenebu is a government of handout and this is not sustainable. You're talking about sustainable development here. Tenebu is not doing it. How dare you come out to compare OBJ's time to this? Like, how dare? During OBJ's time, come on. The economy was fine. The economy was better. How much was changing from a dollar to Naira? How much? Our Naira has had value, rather. It had value. You will take money to the market, you will buy. What do you want to eat? You will eat it. Our money had value. And you're coming out to tell us super story. No, I'm not saying OBJ is the best, but I'm saying don't you dare compare OBJ and Tenebo. He's distributing, is it sustainable? That's wastage. 
that is pure wastage because had it been you are doing the right thing you would do, you wouldn't need to give people something to hold them is that all nigerians worth to you people who are old, why don't you do the right thing it's just as if you are owing people salaries and this one are salaries they work for and then when they come to work each day you give them food do you understand you give them a meal and then when they start complaining that they are being paid, you start telling them to be grateful that you are giving them a meal. Meanwhile, they have dedicated their time, their work and resources and work for you and they have not been paid for months. Like how? How do you even come out to do it? Uh, you, you know, you have food. We have, you know, you have to give you, the other organization will not give you food. Is that, is, is that not bowder dash? How, how does it sound? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. This man must be a typhoid patient. Someone please help him because what he's vomiting from his mouth is totally senseless. As in my community, only five cups for one person, which is not up to one mudu. It cannot even feed a family of four in a day. You know, be just time your bag of rice was five thousand. My God, my God, we bless you, so With your twenty thousand, what am I saying? With your eighteen thousand naira salary. You will use it, you will be happy. No jokes. You will use, how much was a bag of pure water then? Oh my goodness, did I just say bag of pure water? During the biggest time, you said, well, what are they run? What are you saying? What are they run now? A lot of things were working. And now some of these, some of those things have collapsed because they didn't manage them. They won't come drag or be Jane to in a mess. They whine us me. Ha. In no big time, a bag of rice was five five k. Anyone could ach achieve it. If he sees children from subsidy and only give out a thousand to feed millions of Nigeria, let him free them with a refinery to get crude oil in, and let NNPC do the needful by monitoring. Ogano the medulo, because when they do their romance, when these people the northern and westerners they do their romance, nobody I am army le fenusi rawa. That's the one that is doing us is the one I'm going to be talking about. Comparing OBJ's administration with Jagabans is like comparing light and darkness. I agree with you. How was how much was the bag of rice then? And what percentage of Nigerians could afford it then as of today? But Shemal, please, you are sensible Nigerians. Know that whenever you open your mouth, you come outside, they say you shift. It is like somebody stole from you. Somebody is holding what belongs to you and is giving you a very tiny portion. And they are telling you to roll your roll on the ground for waiting beyond with their colleagues. These people don't they mention a lie. It's clear for my eyes that they know they're okay. The rest on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We should thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of